Welcome back to Going Walkabout. We're in Mexico City for the second time this year, and we are really astounded at how much we love this city. So much so that we've moved it up in our global city standings. It used to be London, Paris, San Francisco. Sorry, San Fran, Mexico City has bumped you out and has taken over the third best city in the Going Walkabout rankings. Coming back to the city, I realized there are several things that are helpful to know when planning a trip to come here. I've got what I think are the top eight things to help you plan a trip to this vibrant city. They're in no particular order. Let's jump in at number one. First thing you'll have to deal with is transportation. Do you take a taxi or do you take a black car? Correct answer, taxi. Your hotel will most likely send an email like the one below on the screen and take note of the price, $98 or $142 for a black car pickup, whereas a taxi is only $15. What you'll want to do is when you land, you'll go down to baggage claim. You're going to see several kiosks from all the different taxi companies. Go ahead and talk to any one of them. The folks there will ask you where you want to go. They'll give you a set price for your destination. You'll pay them. You'll take the chit that they give you outside to the taxi stand, give it to the taxi driver, and you will get to your destination safely with enough money left over for a nice dinner and drinks to boot. At number two, we have beware the altitude. Mexico City is in the Ring of Fire, and it's extremely high altitude, very mountainous. At 7,800 feet, it is home to 22 million people. Just to give you an example, that's the same altitude of Aspen, Colorado. It's important to be aware of the effects of high altitude, as you can see below. Best to take the first day or two and get acclimatized. We have found that drinking electrolytes is very helpful, and they're widely available in all the stores. Number three, keep change and small bills at hand. Mexico City is alive with street performers and artisans selling their wares. Few people have change for larger notes, so having small bills will come in handy. As the ATMs only give out 500 peso notes, you want to keep your smaller bills and change for transactions with the vendors on the street. You'll also see many people in need of some monetary kindness, and you won't want to be caught short for that. Number four, we have tipping. In Mexico, being a waiter or waitress is a serious profession. I have found that we get five-star service wherever we go. The service people take their jobs very seriously and as such, make your dining experience truly relaxing and fun. They do work for tips and they will ask you if you want to add an additional 10, 15, or 20%. We usually do 20. Number five, bring good walking shoes. Mexico City is comprised of many neighborhoods that you'll want to explore on foot. It's important to have shoes with good padding and support. Most of the neighborhoods can be walked around because they have these great pavements and sidewalks. Makes it really easy to see. They also have some beautiful parks, like Lincoln Park, that takes up over a square mile. You'll want to explore on foot to see all the treasures, statues, and beautiful trees within. Number six seems obvious, but if you can, learn some Spanish. Many Mexicans speak some English. However, knowing some key phrases will be super helpful and fun. Mexicans are very polite and you will hear good day, good afternoon, and good evening constantly. You can use Google Translate. However, if there's no internet, that won't work. So it's always good to have a few phrases on hand in your back pocket, just in case. Here we are at number seven. Book tours before you go, if you can. The best tour sites for Mexico City are Viator or TripAdvisor. Doing a food tour is a great way to get to know the city as well as the local cuisine. You'll want to book a tour as soon or early in your trip as possible because that will help you to get to know the surroundings. The second trip that I recommend is a bike tour of Coyacan. Coyacan is where Frida Kahlo was born and lived most of her life. It's a gorgeous town and has a beautiful, very old Mercado, one of the oldest in Mexico. That plus some of the oldest homes and the home of Frida Kahlo, which you will be able to get into when you book the bike tour. It's usually sold out, so you kind of get three things with one trip ticket. It's a pretty cool way to see Coyacan and have a great day out. At number eight, we have make time to tour at least two of the top museums. 
I recommend the Museum of Archaeology, which is one of the best museums I have ever seen. Plan on a whole day here depending on your appetite for history. My second favorite is the Suyamaya Museum, built by Carlos Slim, the richest man in Mexico. Here's a tip. Start on the top floor and work your way down. This museum has the most Rodin sculptures anywhere outside of France. It is very eclectic and has something for everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the top eight things to know before you come to Mexico City and that it will be helpful for planning your vacation. It's a fun city with so many activities. You'll find your vacation time going very quickly. I hope you're enjoying our videos. If you are, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe. More to come from Mexico City soon. Hasta luego.